Okay, a little bit outside of our usual, uh, usual content is, well, as usual, but anyway. Uh, the timers kind of go whether or not the game's running, so that means we've got some new archives to open up. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recover 27%, new data available. Search archives. Entry 429, uh, 4925X follows. I glance back towards the wreck of my ship. Nothing more than a dot. Just walking this plane for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. Just I look up at the sky. Additional data available. Okay, so we've got the construction logs. Exosuit technology. D data extracted. Downloading plans. Oh. I was expecting something a little bit more useful for that. I mean, little lore bits, but I was expecting other things. Alright. So I got this. Life support module. No? Uh, let's get rid of this. We don't really have a whole lot of toxin worlds anyway. Alright. More life support. I don't actually know if it's doing anything. It doesn't seem to have any stats associated with it, which is an inconvenience. Okay. So the freighter does have some... No, those are tech modules. Oh. I think I know. I think I know where my my tech modules are. So we're gonna go back to creep down, creep down. I should rename this system now that I'm thinking about it. Before anybody uh, before anybody comes back here, it's got a nice planet. But what should I name it? I don't know. I like Eviltopia, though. Eviltopia works great. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we want to get the, uh, we want to get the blueprint thing down. Because I believe we have the, uh... We have a bunch of... Yeah, salvage tech. And that's something we want to, we want to burn here. Because I want to actually have a base. A nice looking one. Locked crate. No, that's a decoration. Well, he definitely wants cylindrical room. Door, obviously. Metal wall. Ooh, sure. Ladder. Window. I'll grab the straight corridor. A wooden ramp might not be a bad idea. I'm going to need a lot of things, aren't I? Uh, let's see. Use, let's, let's grab the uh, wooden ramp. Buy the cheap stuff quick. While we wait. Thin wooden wall. Interesting. Let's see. Metal window panel. Sure. Okay, and I think we had, like, two more just hanging out here? Three more. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go hunting for a lot of these. I wonder if I can buy them anywhere. Because, yeah, if I could just buy them at a place, I would... I will gladly just go nuts and buy a ton. The window, concrete wall, concrete window wall. Okay, so small wooden walls and metal door frames. We'll get there. This is going to take a while. It's an hour and a half till next time. I'm going to see if I can speed that timer up a bunch. And we're good. All right. Uh, let's see. So we're back. And I got some stuff to do. Third person camera does weird stuff. Anyway. I got some more potential blueprints out of this. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Let me double check. Are you... Buggered out. Oh, no. I just had to select the quest to be able to interact with this. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 32%. New data available. Search archives. 
Entry 4925X follows. They came from gzz, sounded gzz, back above ground now, but gzz, sure they're following me. Should never have touched the eggs. Additional data available. Construction logs. It's usually just exosuit tech, which really isn't actually that helpful. But whatever. I mean, it's free stuff every hour and a half. And it's mostly life support modules. I've noticed. Bad ones, too. In fact, I'm not actually sure if some of these even do anything. Because this one, this one doesn't. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rip that one apart. Let's try this one. Okay, see, that one actually does something. Life support tanks plus 85%. I'll take it. I definitely don't have to refill them nearly as often, and I don't think it actually uh, requires as much. Yeah, we'll just do condensed carbon. Yeah, no, it uh, it effectively just kind of increases the efficiency ish. Okay, so what do we do today? I got I got some objectives. I thought we were going to be playing multiplayer yesterday. I was kind of excited for that. Then we ended up playing uh, Dark Souls instead. Eh, works. Okay, I guess I could just... Let's go back to this one. I should rename this this system while we're here. Um, I think that message was talking about the whispering eggs and the biological horrors. Yes, it was. Which... Dude should have just climbed on top of something. It's It's safe there. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to move stuff around. Okay, so... There we go. It takes a little bit to move sometimes after these. I think I probably just want to focus on the story. Uh, let's see. I guess actually the question is, anybody playing this, do you guys know, uh, or... Anybody else that is playing this, do you guys know at what point you start getting the, uh... The vehicles and, like, farming? Because I've been, I've been wanting that to happen. Um... So you kill eight sentinels mad easy. Scan five plants. Don't want to deliver an item, though. Okay, so, guess before we go anywhere. Let's rename this one to, um, what do I name this one? Yeah, it's either I have to progress the story, or I have to just get a bunch of those blueprint things. I guess what we could do is just run around scanning stuff on a planet while, uh, while blueprinting. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Because we know this, we know the planet, uh, Nagdonica, uh, had a bunch that I could, I could work with. Call this one Ultimate Foe. I have no idea why. Well, no, I know exactly why. <laughs> because uh, Kiji Kun said so in chat, and I'm like, yeah, that's a, that's a name I'll remember. I'm just gonna name stuff stuff. Stuff. Okay. Might as well get the, uh, oops. Might as well get all the extra uh, bits as we go by. Do we have any more? Yeah, upload everything you can because uh, three nanites are very nice. I mean, even if it's like five nanite clusters at a time, five nanite clusters at a time like actually ends up being a lot. Okay, haven't scanned a whole lot there. All right, so that's uh, that's 330 nanites. Uh, huh. I got a bunch. Let's go see what these guys sell for a bit. Ah, oh, damn! My jetpack has some range. Let's see. Uh, speaking of, I could get one more S-class jetpack. No, I couldn't. Actually, this is a uh, this is a separate deal. I need more tech slots, honestly. 
I could also get uh, some more life support, but meh. Uh, let's take a look at my multi-tool. So what I might want to look look for is a another memory siphon. I want to see if I can fit four memory siphons on on this thing. Uh, maybe. Doesn't look like I've got anything potentially here. I guess I could buy some more uh some more upgrades for my my ship. Okay, uh let's see. We've got another starship shield module. I'm not against that actually. Yeah, let's let's buy another one of these cuz I'm I'm probably stuck with this ship for some time. Uh Where do you even buy that to? Okay. There we go. So 40%, 120% uh, shield bonus. And I'm probably just going to get a bunch of photon cannon upgrades for this thing. This color scheme is horrendous. Orange and black? Man, you have poor taste. Orange and black looks great. <gasps> oh. Hold on. This is, this is one of those fancy ships. Oh. Huh. So, I don't actually want it. It's an S-Class, but with no space on it. Uh, but I've been looking for these things. So, S-Class ships are amazing. But not this one. Uh... So you can you can generally tell it's an S class ship because it tends to be it tends to look a lot fancier than the other ones. Buy it for the collection. Unfortunately, I don't have any money. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get that much, even if I wanted to. Yeah, its stats are good. Like this would be a great fighter ship. But I need more storage. I, I need more thing. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. We we gotta go make some money today. I'll save up. For the ev eventually... Uh, save up to eventually get one of those. Okay. So first and foremost, let's actually... Let's go back to Creep Town for a bit. And turn on a fan while we warp. Just a bit warm in here. Okay, so the reason why I want to go back to, uh... The reason why I want to go back to Creep Town is I want to start scanning for things. There we go. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to make some cash. I've heard there's a number of good ways of making cash. Uh, but it might take some time. Up. We got we've got a silly amount of pure ferrite. I'm gonna move a lot of this stuff over to my ship. Because I don't need it right now. Okay, so Starship is still pretty uh pretty good. Oh, we've got plenty of warp cells to chuck into this thing, too. Uh, can I make another antimatter housing? Perfect. Nope, that's not what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm just pressing every button wrong today. Okay, so I got a bunch of fuel. I got some net. Uh, Geknep. I got Herox. And. Oh, right, a scatter blaster module that I should probably just get rid of. Because I don't think I'm actually going to be using the scatter blaster. It's just a little inefficient for me. Let's see, Wonder you should make a creative character mess with frigate building for testing stuff before doing it on this character so you can figure out how big the floor plan is and stuff. I, uh, I don't really care about f building a base on a frigate just because they're kind of, it's time consuming to reach them. Okay, so I wanted to mess with this. 
nav, nav data. I've got a ton of it. And so we should probably make the most of that. Oh, did I... Was I dumb and moved all of my ammo? Yeah, I did. We need the ammo. Do we need anything else immediately? Ferrite dust, yeah, kind of. Most of this I don't need. I can get more ferrite dust. I should buy more ferrite dust. Now, do I not have a signal booster? Maybe, maybe I have one sitting in my inventory right now. Yes, okay. Okay, so, oh, triangulate position. Let's start with that. Because I, I totally forget about story progress. Or am I supposed to put down multiple of these? No, I can. Okay. Uh, let's do locate nearby structures. And then we want to do input data. So what are we looking for? Secure frequencies, distress, habitable outposts, or artifacts. Artifacts means money, but it's kind of random. Let's do secure frequencies. I have ideas. I'm not entirely sure if this will get me what I... I need. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're looking for manufacturing facilities. Why? Because the more man manufacturing facilities I find, the more recipes I can find for uh, fabricating resources. That's off planet. Alright, let's head that direction. Wonder put more No Man's Sky up on YouTube. I think 45 minutes a day uh, is is a fine amount. Any more than that, people are going to get overloaded. I've tried. I, I've tried doing double episodes and stuff like that. It's real bad for my channel. Hey, Artemis, what's up? When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus. Upload your data. Let's find each other. If you're as close as I think you are, we're about to make history. I originally thought the, uh... I originally thought this whole story was actually kind of going to segue into multiplayer, and it would have been, like, uh... really, really clever and stuff. But, uh... No, it didn't. And now that they've added multiplayer, the whole, like, we're about to make history thing feels kind of... <laughs> well, uh... It's different. That's okay. But yeah, sadly the story has not changed to fit the whole multiplayer thing. It would have actually been really clever if it kind of tacitly paired you off with a, another player at the same step as you. Or something like that, so you'd actually run into another player at the... At the, uh... You know, lo the location of the... The quest, you know, where where the uh, the objective is, you actually run into another player. Whoops. Oh right, I gotta kill some sentinels. Uh, well, you know, no, 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 no. We want to get some more gun upgrades. I'll I'll kill the ones here. I was like, I could maybe, I could maybe take on one of the uh, one of the tougher ones. If I wanted to, but I think what I'm going to do... What I think I'm going to do is... We'll just kill these guys. It's going to take a little bit b before reinforcements really get here anyway. Oh. I, I guess I already killed that amount? Back to the bolt caster. Okay. Uh, here's the entrance. Yeah, let's blast this down for a second. I gotta get the grenade. Uh, I gotta build a grenade module at some point. Cause yeah, uh, if I get a grenade module, we get the. Um, if we get the grenade module, I can just blast that down in like a couple of hits, which is always. Kind of really helpful. Okay, that's... This is awkward. 
I need... I miss the old, like, uh, super homing that you could get. Uh, like, you could straight up home in on, uh... Some of these? No, it doesn't look like, uh... It doesn't look like I've got any, uh... Any, like, weak, weak spots on this. We got plenty. Are we just... No, there's a there's a dog bot in this setup. Let, let's kill these guys, though. If we can. Wow, they they stupid. And then we'll just uh, go running in. I've got plenty of shields for this. Eventually, I'd like to get the, uh, the better uh, shield upgrades for my suit. But honestly, like, I'm feeling... I'm pretty... I'm feeling pretty durable uh, with what I've got right now. I just need some more damage. Grab those. Repugnium. And yeah, this this is good. Hello, Dogbot. Ow. Yeah, they've got that weakness on the butt, but that weakness is uh, real hard to get. These guys would probably be a lot easier to fight in um, in multiplayer, because then you could actually flank them. I cannot, and that's okay. There we go. Alright. Take that. And let's get out of there before any of the big guys come. Alright. They're never gonna find me in here. Open door? Nah. Nah, just... They don't look... They don't look through the open door. You need the blaze javelin. Uh, yeah. I'll take a look at that. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. What's up with you? Hi. Hmm. Let's see, no grenade launcher yet? Nah, I've been lazy with that. I should get I should get one. Unfortunately, I don't know the word for this one. Um Hmm. Okay, people are saying cool. Okay. Cool at network. I gotta learn some more uh, words. So, we just learned how to make dirty bronze, which is crafted from pure ferrite and pyrite. Understanding with the geck is increased. Oh, that's why. I'm in the, I'm in the geck system. Alright, now, there's probably a walker nearby. I... I'm not considered hiding. Hmm. I was hoping they'd forget about me while I was in there. Well, I guess what I can do... Can I... Okay, so we've got a hollow terminus in the area. I'll go for that in a bit, but I should probably find a better, better location. Uh, let's see. The navigational task. Let's locate nearby structures, which... As far as I know, it doesn't really do much for me. It just kind of gets me a bird's eye view, but it doesn't actually mark any buildings nearby. Uh, let's see. I guess I could pull this out. We do have uh, some caves over there that I could head for. Building up there. Why does that lose its tag? I have no idea. Anyway, uh. Okay. Yeah, I'm more or less just gonna run away from them for a bit. Can you, can you keep that tag? No. It just totally forgets that I, I've tagged that, and I don't really know why. Do 
you later. I am real fast. I'm really disappointed those travel modules that I got. Uh, now I've already scanned these. Those travel modules I got don't actually increase my, my run speed at all. I was really hoping I I could actually like just move faster. But I guess running longer is almost more satisfying instead of short bursts. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Oh, hey. Landmark. I'm not going to bother to read read this. We just want to knowledge of the past. Perfect. All right, and then we run. Ah, oh, damn, I move fast. All right, uh, let's see. So that was probably the building that was being marked. Maybe? Maybe not. Now, that's another unknown building. Uh, you know, that probably was the one being marked. Okay. And they've given up. Perfect. Good timing. Yeah, so I want to go for as many of these buried tech modules as I can possibly grab. If I remember right, this planet is totally dead and we don't have to worry about uh, looking for animals. I have no idea what milestone that was, nor do I care. That might have actually been for sentinel killing. But that means nothing to me. Okay. There's one. Yeah, so we want to grab as much salvage technology as we possibly can. Actually, uh, if anybody knows, is there is there a possibility... Uh, is it possible to, uh, to just buy that stuff? Because if possible, I'd love to. So you wonder, can I move my jetpack and life support to your tech slots now? Uh, I don't think you can move the jetpack. I think your jetpack, your life support, and your hazard protection, uh, will always be in your main inventory. Uh, but you can put all these, uh, these extra procedurally generated, um... Oh, there is an initial boost power that you can you can get as a so I guess that would explain why why I'm a little bit faster than I used to be. Um, it's annoying, but ultimately you're going to be using all those tech slots anyway, even if it's not exactly the same. Oh, vengeance! Wait, unidentified plants. You? There we go. Is that a... Oh, there's a living creature on this planet. I actually thought this planet was totally dead. Well, it serves me right. Probably scan these. I gotta scan for plants, honestly. So you get up to 24 tech slots, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping it goes above 12, because currently I've got 12. And then it's not terrible, but uh, 24 would be a lot nicer to fit everything on it. Yeah, 160k per scan. Yeah, uh, scanning, scanning modules, uh, procedurally generated scanning modules are insanely good. I would, I would highly recommend gunning for those first, especially if you're just starting out, you will be uh, mad wealthy. Crap. Where is that? Unidentified building. For whatever reason, it's just not being marked. Oh, that's okay. It's down by the emerald deposit. Or maybe it's down there. This is going to hurt a bit, isn't it? Let's not. Okay. So is this just kind of a non-building? Are we just in a crater? Is that it? 
Was that it? Yep, that looks like that's that that is what it is, and that that is what it was. Was what it was? I don't know. There's nothing here. That sucks. What else do we got? Uh, is this place a wash? I gotta kill one more sentinel. So we might as well blast this one out of the sky. It was just kind of hang out and watch you for the first little while. I should probably head back for my ship. I think it's... I think it's time. I don't think we have a whole lot left on this planet. Though actually what I should do is... I should just put down the uh, the beacon again and search for another, another structure. Alternatively, there's another building over there that might just be... That might just be another, uh, artifact thing. We'll see. I mean, the more of those, the better, and I'll just summon my ship from this one. I can make fuel freely whenever I want. Okay. Unknown building is right there? I think it's right there. Oh, right, I turned down the volume for, uh... I, I was playing Gungeon earlier today because I needed, uh, one more episode. Yeah. Now here's hoping this will mark a different location. So I can go to two of them. Okay. Knowledge of the past. Nope. Looks like that just, uh, that just marked the one I've already seen. That sucks. Yeah, by the way, it does not actually cost you any resources to summon your ship. It just costs you resources to, uh... Oh, we were really close to that ancient rune. It just costs you resources to launch again. That's actually really nice. Let's see. Can you get an automatic gun? Yes. Yes, there's a, uh, there's a fully automatic gun that you can get. I haven't bothered with it yet just because I'm lazy. I mean, technically, the, the basic blaster that you start with is fully automatic. But it's not like, you know, rat -a -ta, -ta, ta It's more like da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. I'm an expert pilot. Flight maneuver, go. Let's see. Wonder if you have the problem where the where a mission thinks your freighter is the base computer. Yes. Uh, so the trick is you have to uh, make a base in the system where it thinks that that it that freighter base is. It's really confusing and really stupid. Uh, luckily, as far as I can tell, whoa! Oh, this one's floating in the air. Huh. Oh. Nice part is they modeled the bottom side of everything, just in case. Uh, anybody goes down to go looking. Should make getting, uh, keys kind of easy. We've got another one over here? Yeah, we do. Okay. We're looking for the large artifact crate, which should be just right here. There it is. Come on, give me something good. Some of these are worth like millions. Some of these worth not so much though. That one's like 500k, I think tops. It's pretty, it's pretty dismal. It's all artifact fragments. I know there's Gravitino balls here, but they're 
They're not really actually worth anything. Okay, so let's put the signal booster down and see what else I can go to. Okay, so input data. We want to look for as many factories as we can. Please don't be the factory I was just at. I hope not. That would suck. Yeah, you found a flower worth 1,700. Yee. Or not 1,700. 17 million. Oh, that is... That would be lovely. Because, yeah, I'm, um... I, I'm not going to say I'm poor. But I could certainly use 17 million. Ah, uh, that might actually be the, um... That might actually be the manufacturing facility I was at already. I gotta remember to get the, um... If you don't touch the flag, sometimes it'll just bring you right back to the one you've already been to. And that part sucks. I can't tell. Well, this time I'm going for the flag first. But I think this is the one I've already been to before. Let's see if the door's open. If it is, I'm going to be sad. It'd be neat if it actually reset the, uh... section. But yeah, that... That door is open. That was... Ugh. That was a way to, waste of some nav data. Okay, well, let's do that again. I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Please don't tell me about the one that I'm already at. I think a supply depot is, is literally just, like, some resources in it. Not exactly something I'm looking for. Right, we should probably recharge these. Okay. The okay, last I checked, supply depots are... Not actually generally worth the effort. Might be more worth it now, though. <laughs> I love landing in this game. It's always magic. Okay. So... Ooh. Aronium? This might actually be worth something. It's certainly a lot easier uh, blasting my way into these. Okay, and I'm just gonna go shoot out with these uh, with these sentinels. I mean, I can always use the nanites. Remember they used to give you actually kind of helpful resources, but they don't anymore, and that's a bit of a shame. Uh, have you... Did he actually... Re no, reload, you dumbass. I think at some certain point the camera, like, loses its lock-on for whatever reason. And, uh... It'll, like, lose its lock-on and, and do dumb things. Okay, so now we've got a better Sentinel Combat Unit. But I think I can... 
fly off and flee if I do this. Well, you know what I could do? They're going to be looking for me for like a second. Input navigational data. Scan secure frequencies. Because, yeah, they might shoot at me, but I'm... I'm st stacked. Like, they're not going to be able to touch me. Please don't be the same freaking manufacturing facility. Actually, as far as I can tell, nothing was marked on the map? What was that? No, something was marked on the map. But it might be the one I was already at, at which point that's upsetting. And I'm going to leave. Is this the exact same one I've been to before? Twice now. Because I hate the fact that it wastes my navigational data to tell me about a place that I've already been to before. What kind of landing sequence was that? That was weird. Let me guess. Same one I've been to before. Friggin' yep. That's really annoying. No, shut up. I don't... I don't care. I don't care about your milestones. I, I'm, I'm mad. I've wasted... Jeez, I wanna I wanna say I wasted like four nav data. Uh just pinging back and forth those two locations. And I don't know, that's kind of frustrating. It's like, don't send me back to one I've already cleared, because there's no point to it. Don't sound wander. Uh don't sound mad wander. I am mad. Let's I'm going to give myself some nav data. I'm going to see if I can do that. I guess we'll have to do it once we actually uh, get to the station, though. Because, yeah, if I can just give myself some nav, nav data whenever it mucks up like that, then I'm not going to mind so much. wonder you should name your planets after your channels so people find it. That's dumb. I don't I don't need to do advertising like that. I actually I really hate it when people do that. We got invaded by a, a guy with their their Twitch username at some point. I just thought it was the tackiest thing ever. Let's see. Hello, the game just lagged. No, no, no. That was me alt tabbing. The game um the game, like, still plays, but the capture pauses whenever I alt-tab. Okay, so No Man's Sky. Looking for five. This might not work. Okay, so where's where's that nav data? We want this. Okay, now we're looking for a one. We're looking for a two. It's this one. There we go. Alright, that's that's close enough. 
Inventory editing is surprisingly doable. Anyway, uh, so yeah, if you're wondering why, what I did, why I just did that, effectively it was yanking my chain. I was scanning for, uh, manufactories, and it was just like, sure thing, here's some. And then, like, was lying. I don't like it when that happens. Okay, uh, let's see. I'd like to get some salvage tech, but I don't know where to get those. I guess we'll just have to go digging. Um, geez, there was the there was the water planet in the Evil Topia system. Oh, uh, you know, I should probably go turn in the um, probably go turn these in. Ready to planetary depot. Kill sentinels. Kill sentinels. Hmm. But yeah, we should probably. Was okay. This is this is just going on. Let's just progress the story for a bit. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to keep kind of uh, cycling what I'm doing here, and it's not going to help me that much. Uh, we should probably sell those superconducting fibers, though. If I don't, uh, if I don't sell them, uh, pirates start coming after me. To be fair, fighting pirates is not actually that big of a deal, but I just don't want to deal with it. 